The large wooden doors led back out into the cold and rain. I wasn't that anxious to use them. The book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage, probably a collector's item. Why do rich families feel the need to leave old, valuable books lying around in their reception halls? It's bad enough that they have so much more money than you without rubbing it in. The book was about the lineage and heraldry of the nobility of the city of Ankh. I didn't understand much of it, but I noticed that there were handwritten corrections in it. The handwriting in the margin looked a little feminine. When all said and done, I'm a suspicious sort of a guy. I compared the handwriting on Carlotta's invitation to the written notes in the book, and they matched perfectly. Carlotta had made the corrections. Okay, so it wasn't that much of an accusation, but the way the case had been going, I just felt good at making a sound deduction. There didn't seem to be any obvious connection to the book. I'll say this for the von Oberwalds. They had class. There weren't many homes in Ankh-Moor Park with a window that could take your breath away. Well, maybe in Unseen University, but I'd heard that they had windows there that could literally take your breath away. There was no way I was going to try and smash such an incredible work of art. I couldn't think of a good reason to steal the painting, even though it would have looked great on my office wall. The painting bore a striking resemblance to Carlotta. The Duchess Charlotte von Überwald, née Neapoldine. My predecessor, in a sense. Oh? Are you a duchess? No, but the resemblance is impressive, isn't it? My husband was struck by it from the moment I met him. Where is your husband? Dear Ulrich passed away during a civil uprising in Überwald several years ago. Quite a terrible business, actually. Peasants, pitchforks, burning torches, the usual sort of thing. Usual? For Überwald, certainly. Their ways may seem barbaric, but it's just the way things have always been done. If there wasn't a civil uprising every few years, I do believe the nobility would be most disappointed. Dying at the hands of a mob in a burning castle is practically traditional. Tradition important to you, is it? Ever the investigator, eh, Luton? Even your employer isn't beyond suspicion. My old boss used to say that everyone was guilty of something. And what are you guilty of? Too many things, sweetie, but nothing you need to know about. So what's the story with you and Ulrich? Do you believe in love at first sight, Luton? It saves a lot of time, certainly. Ulrich fell for me the moment we met. I guess seeing that painting every day probably helped. Don't sell yourself short. You have a few assets of your own. I'm sure it was an equitable transaction. You think I married him for his money? Did you? Let me tell you something, Luton. I've been rich and I've been poor. Rich is better. Did you love him? Does it matter? It matters to me. Maybe I did. I guess it depends on what love is. Love is a moment of weakness that allows someone to hurt you. More than you ever thought possible. Men were given the strength to be brutes to women, and women were given love to wreak their revenge. Who was she, Luton? Who? The one who left you with such a high opinion of women. She must have been quite a gal. I noticed that you've scribbled some notes in the big book. Oh, the twerp's peerage. Yes, 
I appreciate that it's easy to make a mistake when it comes to genealogy, but there's no excuse for the kind of careless errors the author made. Still, it seems a little extreme to write in corrections. I can be an extreme sort of woman. You wanted to know how the case was going. A girl's got to have hobbies. I think I'm getting somewhere. We're all getting somewhere, Luton. The question is, am I going to like where you're going? I guess we'll just have to find that out the old-fashioned way. That's me, an old-fashioned girl. Like the girl in the picture. The Duchess? She was quite a trendsetter in her era. She wore her dress so high, you could almost see her ankles. My heart is pounding at the thought. I don't have much to tell you about the case, I'm afraid. You still haven't found Mundi? Not yet. I might do a better job if I had more money at my disposal. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You haven't been paid yet. Well, it had crossed my mind. I'm sure I could sort something out. I didn't doubt that she could. The question was, would she? And more to the point, when would she? What can you tell me about the Duchess? The Duchess Charlotte von Uberwald. Born Charlotte Ameliorati Victoire Tangerine Leopoldine. She married the Duke when she was 13, which was the style at the time. She was considered a risque dilettante by most of the nobility of Uberwald, and rumors abounded that she caused the heart attack that killed the Marquis of Grand Mal when she showed him her naked knees. Her corset was said to be so tight that her first pregnancy went into extra time, and her first and only son had learned his first word by the time he was born. You're pretty good on this family history business, then. I dabble. Tell me again about Monday. What's to tell? I've told you all you need to know. Do you know anything about the Milka? Let's try not to get too sidetracked, Luton. Do you know a big, dumb troll called Malachite? I thought all trolls were big and dumb. This one pushes new boundaries. Do you know him or not? No, I don't. Do you know anyone named Therma? Sorry, Luton. I've never heard of them. Have you heard of a singer named Madame Lodestone? Sorry, Luton. I've never heard of them. Have you heard of a dwarf who goes by the name of Al Kali? No, no, I haven't. Never mind. It was a long shot. I wasn't about to ask Carlotta about herself. You wouldn't have anything to do with the recent murders. Why, Mr. Luton, you must think the worst of me. I think the worst of everyone. That's my job. Do you think Mundy could have been murdered? Anyone could be murdered, but speculation is cheap. And you're not? I'm not cheap. I'm a bargain. I need your help. I'm not hard to get, Luton. All you have to do is ask. I need your knowledge. I need to find a particular tomb in the Salachi Mausoleum, but I don't know enough about genealogy. You do. The Salachi Mausoleum? That could be trouble. Don't worry. I'm not going to mess with the tombs. I know better than to offend a family whose ties with the Assassin's Guild go back to its very foundation. I just want to see if someone's buried there. Who's the stiff? A troll named Therma. <laughs> a dead troll? You don't get much stiffer than that, I suppose. Will you help me or not? Of course, although I'm not really properly dressed for a mausoleum. You don't mind waiting while I get changed? It's not like Therma's going anywhere. If Sarah is not too busy, the master of the house wishes a word with you. And if I am too busy? The master of the house still wishes a word with you, and I shall be forced to beg. That sounds like it could be fun. Did I say beg, sir? I meant resort to violence. In which case, lead the way. Mm -hmm.